University is about understanding course concepts and ideas. And yet for some students who have found that they can memorize their way through high school and get very good grades, they discover that this approach will not work at university. They often end up with a very hazy notion of course concepts. If I was to demonstrate this with a visual analogy, it might look like this. A concept may be demonstrated by a circle like this one, but the concept would only have a hazy, imprecise boundary around it. The student only has the gist of the idea. This creates a problem when you're looking at a similar or related concept, say concept B, which also has a hazy boundary. These two boundaries can overlap. This is where the confusion starts for many students. Professors tend to think of course concepts as having very clear, distinct edges to them. And they will test you on the edge between two similar or related concepts. When this happens, students tend to complain that the professor is being tricky. Nope. The professor is just being very precise, and the student is not. Getting more precise is easy. Just edge out the course concepts more clearly in your notes. Let me give you an example from an introductory psychology course. You may be asked to learn some basic theories of personality, such as psychodynamic, behavioral, cognitive, and trait theories of personality. Professors will love to test you on the distinctions between these concepts, their edges. One way to capture these edges is to create a concept grid. I have placed these four theories across the top of the grid. Down the side of the grid, I'll put the criteria of distinction or relation that helps me edge out these different theories. A simple edge might be, who are the major proponents of the theory? A more subtle edge is to determine where this theory stands in the nature versus nurture debate. Another edge might be, what kind of developmental model is it? Incremental, stepped? hierarchical, recursive. To help you in creating these concept edges, let me give you a few suggestions. First, look for relationships between concepts. Concepts tend to come in clusters, and you can capture that cluster in a hierarchical diagram, a flow chart, a semantic map, or any other visual media that you can use to connect ideas together. Second, focus on distinctions between concepts. Professors love to test you on whether you can tell the difference between two similar looking concepts. Third, look for hierarchies or classifications of course concepts and ideas. A common example in psychology might be the reinforcement schedule found in operant conditioning. Fourth and finally, imagine for a moment that you're the professor. What questions would the professor ask of this material? If you can figure out what the questions the professor would ask, you're well on your way to thinking like a prof.